Hello, today we're going to demonstrate putting together one of our drive dolly wheel systems. In a video before we actually demonstrated putting together one of our idler systems here. Um, as you can see it has no gear motor attached to it. Basically both sides are somewhat symmetrical I guess. And you can see here the wheels just rotate uh, freely. This is designed to go on, uh, we've got it set right here. You can see here there's several different uh, um, areas which you could uh, adjust the, the spacing. This is set up for about a one inch diameter tube um, which we're going to set up the gear drive the same as well. So let's go ahead and begin. As you can see here there are a number of parts we have here and uh, on the website you'll see a parts list on this particular page on the different parts and tools you actually need in order to assemble this unit. But let's start. First what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our drive, or actually not our drive, but our actually our idle system together. So we're going to grab these two little, little center channel washers here with our long 632 screw. I'm going to go ahead and put that together here. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten that down. Cinch that one down pretty good. I'm going to put that off to the side now. And next we're going to go ahead and take our two um, black plastic plates. You can see they're fairly close in shape to the idler system, but they're a little bit taller. They, they peek out at the top here. Um, that will allow for the gear motor to be put in line with one of the drive wheels. So I'm going to go ahead and symbol this here. As you can see here, same thing as on the idler. You've got several different positions here at which you can mount. The lowest position is going to be for a one inch shaft or excuse me, tubing, ABS, or PVC tubing. I'm going to go ahead and mount these in here. We're not going to tighten these down too tight right now. Grab the second plate so we can always come back later and make sure all the screws are nice and tight. So I'm going to mount the idle, idler side first. Come back and just kind of tighten those a little bit here. Next we're going to go ahead and mount the drive hub or the drive carrier on this side. Finger tighten all, all four of them in first I guess. Alright, we'll tighten this down. And one of the things is is on these uh, black plastic plates. They're extremely tough, but you want to not tighten these screw heads down so tight that they warp the plate. So you just want to barely, you want to cinch them down pretty good, but not so tight that, like I said, you see the, the plate starting to warp. Double check all of them here. Okay. Now we're ready to put in the top crossover plate. We're going to put this on this side here and basically what this plate allows us to do, we're going to put it, we'll go ahead and put it oh, the tallest setting here, highest setting I should say. And what this plate allows you to do is it, it helps keep the two ABS, or not ABS, but the two black Delrin plates parallel, but also adds a nice additional mounting position. It gives you the, as you can see here, it gives you the nice 770 mounting position at an angle which in several applications and several robots and actually some dolly systems we've built comes in really really handy so especially if you're trying to mount a GoPro camera off the side or something like that works really really well so now we need to go ahead and assemble our drive shaft system so as you can see here we've got two wheels um, these are quote skate wheels or slash robot wheels um, don't, do not forget to purchase two ball bearings uh, which obviously will have the parts list on the site but you want to not forget the 8 millimeter by 22 uh, millimeter OD ball bearings so you only need two of them anyway for this and then the other wheel does not get a ball bearing. I'm going to go ahead and grab a little drive carrier here. You want to slide that all the way on until it hits the threads. There's little quarter 20 threads in there. Line that up with the D shafting. Tighten that. You want to get that pretty good and tight because it might be difficult to, you know, it's difficult to reach 
later on because you actually have to tape the entire wheel off so you want to get that pretty tight now we'll go ahead and mount the wheel it's a press fit on just like that now we've got the little cup washer and this whole little assembly the inner hub here and the cup washer actually are sold together as a kit so then you got the 3 8 inch by quarter 20 socket head screw we're going to go ahead and put that in grab the wheel and it's a friction fit so get it pretty tight and will not will not slip whatsoever so we're going to set that off to the side now that we've got that complete now we're going to go ahead and mount our gear motor and for this we've actually uh, I've chosen our 90 rpm 12 volt precision robot zone gear motor um, any of our 3 to 12 volt gear motors will work great um, for those guys wanting to build men and women wanting to build the time-lapse rigs um, you know the half rpm and the one rpm work extremely well obviously your dolly will move extremely slow but in those applications that's exactly what you want so now this one would be a 90 rpm this is uh this is going to get up and move move pretty quickly so what you want to do here as you can see here there's multiple mounting holes on this motor mount um, we've designed it that way so you've got obviously you can run inline motors or gear motors you can actually even run rc car motors such as um, brushless motors from like castle creations and several other different manufacturers or any any brushed rc car motor and um, if you know anything about brushless motors uh, you'll know that if you put something like that in here it's going to move extremely quick so um, but you may have to rotate your motor around several times to find the holes that line up make sure your shaft is directly in the center of the of the hole here and so we've got these small small Phillips head screws little metric screws we're going to put those in there line that up there we go I'm going to leave that one loose until we can kind of line this other screw hole up here put that in now we can go ahead and tighten these down Get them nice and tight. There you go. You can tell the motor is in the center of our motor mount. Next, we're going to go ahead and mount our motor into our contraption here. And so, what you'll want to do is obviously, you can see here we're in line with our carrier hub. Same thing with our motor. We're going to want to mount this directly in line with the carrier hub and the Depending on what position, you know, the motor can also move in line with whatever um, diameter of tubing you're attaching this to. Now, you also notice that this, this gear motor, anyway, is offset, you can see here. So, you can obviously flip this around the other direction, depending on how uh, or what you're mounting this to, what kind of device or the channel or whatever you decide to build. So, it's pretty versatile. So, we're going to go ahead and line this up and put our 632 my quarter screws in and we're not going to tighten these up very tight because we'll want a little bit of wiggle room in order to get the shaft coupler on just barely tightened down so there we go mounter is motor is attached to the gear motor I should say you also want to make sure that you can reach the flat spot make sure it's not you know in the uh, in an area where you're not going to be able to run be able to run a set screw down in through there so so next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mount our shaft coupler as you can see our gear motors this gear motor in particular has a six millimeter bore shaft and all of our d shafting such as this shaft here is a quarter inch so we have to use a quarter to six millimeter uh, coupler so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and Put it all the way on so it hits the six millimeter side. So go ahead and line that up. You want to tighten this down pretty good. There you go. Oh, actually, you know what? We don't want to do that quite yet. Sorry. Actually, we'll want to put the ball bearing on. So you can see here it's a quarter inch, uh, half inch OD ball bearing we're going to put that on with the flange toward and see there's a little tiny indentation or actually lip on these uh, little drive hubs and therefore it run, that allows that to run actually on the inner race of the ball bearing 
So once that's done, let's go ahead and put on our, cup, our shaft coupler. Like I said before, you want to get that fairly tight, but there we go. Now we're actually ready to put this in line with our gear motor. So you can see that little ball bearing is going to line up directly into there and rest nice and neat. I rotate this around just like that. You can see right there. I'm going to line this up. Lucky that we have access down in there. So we're going to make sure that's nice and tight up in there. Lined up right on the flat of that motor, ear motor. Tighten that up. Now you can see that whole motor system easily rotates. The cool thing about this uh, setup too is that we've got a lot of customers that actually instead of just running a, an open loop or a regular gear motor, they're actually putting either stepper motors on here, which we're coming out, they've been doing their own mounts, but we're coming out with a new mount for stepper motors, but also any kind of gear motor that has an encoder, uh, therefore when you build a dolly, obviously you're going to be able to um, uh, vary every, every aspect of it, how far it's going, how fast it's going, and link it into a, some type of controller. So, and the last thing we're going to do is mount the freewheel. A little 632 washer here, number six washer, I should say. And our last little bolt. And we're going to tighten that right on, like so. And there you go. Very compact, very easy to mount onto our channel and to our tubing. As you can see here, you've got our 150 hole pattern, uh, half inch, or excuse me, one inch um, um, hole all the way through. Um, our channel easily bolts up to it. We're going to show you in, a, in another video how easy this is to uh, actually bolt up to our channel and to our tubing. So there you go. You've got two systems. Um, one is our drive system. One is our freewheel system. You can space them out different lengths uh, with channel and or tubing to make a really, really cool uh, dolly. Um, and we're going to show you that in a further video. So there you go. And if you are building a dolly, you're going to need at least at least two of these and one of these, but we really recommend utilizing one of these and three of these to build a four-place dolly.